Hi students and welcome to today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian. I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Victoria here in Canada. I hope everybody is having an awesome uh, weekend so far. I hope you're all healthy and strong and happy. Um, students, uh, this is an IELTS speaking part three class. We are going to be talking about sweets because yesterday we did part two and part two cue card was about your favorite dessert. So part we have fixed this now and it's not going to lag out. Let me see if uh, if it's working for you. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's looks like we're back online here. So if you are patient members. I think we're good to go. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a little bit difficult to figure out exactly what's causing um, that issue uh, with uh, so many moving parts. But uh, anyway, um, it seems to be hopefully fixed now. And then I'll do some more troubleshooting here on uh, the weekend. Okay, um, hopefully the internet will cooperate or the world of internet for the remainder of these two classes. Okay, so again, uh, students, uh, this lesson is brought to you by aehelp.com. So for academic IELTS, uh, check us out there. For general IELTS, visit us at gieltshelp.com. We'll be using these websites today and use this discount code one band up to get a 20% discount. If anybody has questions, um, send me an email to adrian at aehelp.com and uh, our schedule is up for uh, this week and next so March 19th to the 26th we have speaking part three right now followed by speaking part one and then next week we'll have more speaking and we'll have this special class on the 26th so uh, pay attention to that Okay, members, so I'm going to get into IELTS speaking part three right away. Now, IELTS uh, speaking part three today, we are going to be talking about sweets because again, part two yesterday was about your favorite dessert and we talked about strawberry ice cream. Maybe some of you remember that. Maybe some of you had some ice cream yesterday. So IELTS part two was talking about our favorite dessert, which in this case was strawberry ice cream. Okay, all right, so we're going to get into uh, part three speaking right away. And this is a speaking class, everybody, so make sure to speak, okay? So speak and uh, repeat. That means copy my intonation, copy my pronunciation, uh, copy, uh, of course, uh, the vocabulary. If you're unclear or unsure of a word, write it down, okay? And uh, notice the structure. So answers, explanations, examples are the key to getting a good uh, band score, okay? All right, thanks for the feedback, Kyber and Ken. Uh, hopefully it's working now. I'll make sure to pay attention uh, to my feedback screen here. And Make sure it's working okay. Again, this is why it's so hard to figure out what's causing that error because it happens sometimes and sometimes not. So it could be the internet. I'm not sure. It's tough to say. Okay, everyone. So uh, here are our speaking part three questions. Now, we'll do one question together and then uh, we will practice with volunteers. It's the last class for this week in live streaming, so I want to do lots and lots of practice, okay? Um, so here we have our first question. So you're sitting there in your IELTS speaking section exam. You just finished the cue card response, and the examiner says that is the end of part two. That concludes that uh, part of the uh, test. Now we will move on to speaking part three. For this part, I will ask you some questions uh, related to your response and some questions on this topic. Let's talk about sweets and cakes. In general, have people's consumption of sweets and cakes increased or decreased over the past few decades? So again, 
Uh, give me a nice full sentence answer. This time, just write it into the chat. So for this first question, we're going to practice just by typing our answer, and then we will switch to verbal responses afterwards, okay? All right, um, Kyber, can you send me an email with that question and then uh, we can take a look at it in more detail? Okay, uh, so here is the response uh, by Saeed. Let's take a look at that. Okay, I think it's two parts here if I'm not mistaken, Saeed, so we'll take a look. Um, okay. All right, so Saeed says, I guess the number of people eating sweets has increased compared to a few decades back, mainly because now in almost every grocery store, there are tons of different kinds of sweets, uh, starting from cookies and ending with ice creams with different flavors. As my grandma told me in her childhood, it was lucky word form, to find a white chocolate bar since the variety of sweets was not that wide. Okay, um, yeah, that's a, that's a good answer, Saeed. Uh, yeah, so you're showing the present perfect has increased, which is good. Uh, you're reflecting the comparison compared to a few decades back. That's also good, all right? That's a nice response. Um, try to paraphrase more, so a few decades, 20, 30 years, okay? All right. I'll give you an answer here as well. So, um, <clears throat> I do believe that people have been eating uh, more candy and sweets recently compared to uh, 20 or 30 years ago because these days um, sugar can be found just about anywhere in large quantities and varieties. Um, in grocery stores there are entire aisles dedicated to uh, the sales of sweets. During my parents' childhood, candies were considered to be expensive and a unique treat only once or twice a month. However, these days, many individuals uh, consume sweets on a daily basis. Okay, so here is a nice uh, natural uh, answer to this question. Um, repeat after me. So, in general, have people's consumption of sweets and cakes increased or decreased over the last few decades? I do believe that people have been eating more candy and sweets recently compared to 20 or 30 years ago because these days sugar can be found just about anywhere in large quantities and varieties. In grocery stores, there are entire aisles dedicated to the sales of sweets. During my parents' childhood, uh, candies were considered to be expensive and a unique treat only once or twice a month. However, these days, many individuals consume sweets on a daily basis. Okay. All right. So here we have an answer. Okay. The answer reflects the grammar of the question. All right. So it's very important to show this have been eating. So I'm using the present perfect progressive because the question asks with present perfect have increased, right? So there's present perfect there. You need to show that in your answer. 
okay? And then there's an explanation of why, because just like Saeed says, candies, chocolate bars, sweets are um, so extensive now in grocery stores, there are tons of candies and chocolates, okay? And there's no example here, but you could quickly in include an example, um, something like, I'm also guilty of eating chocolate at least four to five times each week. Okay, so that would be a nice uh, example here at the end, which would also emphasize the answer. And that's a good way to end answers in many cases on the IELTS for especially for part one and part three is just by including that kind of smooth example. Don't say for example, just include the example, right? So uh, Cass has given us a response as well. Cassandra says, um, I would say that individuals' consumption of desserts have increased in the last 10 years because people have so many options for sweets to choose from, like ice cream, cakes, and pastries. Like here in Manila, ice cream shops are rampant uh, here with round-the-clock operations. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. It's a very good answer, Cass. I like it. It's concise, it's clear, it's accurate, it's good. Okay, that's a very nice answer. That would be considered a band nine answer. Very nice, all right? Okay, students, so let's, um, let's do some volunteering. Let's do some uh, speaking verbally. I'd love to hear your voices before the weekend here. So I'm going to show you what to do, okay? So um, here, uh, we're going to uh, take some volunteers, all right, for speaking. And to volunteer uh, for speaking, uh, register an account at aehelp.com. I think most of our members have done this now, which is great. Okay, go to your My Student account. And then in your My Student account, click on Student Partner Speaking. And when you're in student partner speaking, make sure to enable your microphone in your browser, okay? And then uh, send me a message. You'll find me under master uh, and just write, I want to volunteer, okay? And then I can ping you. So let me show you what I mean by this specifically. I'm just going to hop over to the website here. This is ahelp.com. You can uh, join the premium package by clicking the red button or the green button for the free version. And then once you create your account, uh, log in to your My Student account. Uh, after you are logged in, uh, click on this uh, blue button, that one there, the uh, student partner speaking. Okay, so that, that one right there, uh, student partner speaking. And then you will be redirected to this page, uh, which is our uh, speaking interface where you can chat with other IELTS students. And I can see we have Mustafa, Saeed, Lynette, Shri, Yozra, Ken, um, Ibrahimov, and Cassandra in here already. And I just got a message from Ibrahimov. So let me see if Ibrahimov would like to volunteer. I don't think Ibrahimov is one of our members, but I'll give. Uh, him a chance, um, sure. Um, so this is a members chat class, so members, I will be looking for you to volunteer, okay? Hi. Hi, Ibrahimov. Hi, Ibrahimov. Hi, sir, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing um, good, thank you. Make sure to mute YouTube so we're not getting feedback. I can hear my own voice. So in YouTube, just click on the mute and then I won't hear my voice. Is it okay now? Uh, yes, I think it's better. Uh, I can still hear myself. So just have the audio going only on the website. 
Yes. Okay. I don't know where the problem okay. is. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's if I hear my voice, it's it's not a problem. As long as it's not a problem for you and you can hear me, that's okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, Ibrahimov. So you're doing the IELTS exam. Why are you taking IELTS? Do you remember? I am that pick me. If you remember, yesterday I was on screen. Ah, uh, okay. So you you're using a different name now. <laughs> All right. Yes, I remember pick me. I, how can I forget? Yes. But I don't it's remember real why name. you're taking IELTS. I forgot your response yes, if I, I asked you. I, oh, you said. Oh, wait, wait. You said you want to okay. study in Korea. Was that? I, how, can I forget? Do, do I remember correctly? I can't hear you. Can you repeat, please? Yeah, you said that you want to yeah, study you abroad. Said you want to study abroad. Yes, yes. Uh, in IT technology in Korea. That's yeah. That's what I just said. That's, I said you yeah, want to study in Korea. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Um, well, let me ask okay, you a part uh, three well, question. Let me ask you a part three question. Okay. All right. So here we go. Right. So we're talking about sweets, so of, talking course. About sweets of course. And here's the question. Here's the question. Too many <sighs> sweets can many cause many health issues for health people. Issues for Do you people. agree with this statement? Why or why, why or why not? Why or why not? Um yes, I agree with that. I have eating too many sweets can lead to um, really bad problems in health. Um yeah, I think it's quite good to it's good to uh, keep the balance and eat. I think uh, eating chocolate it's um, like it is good as far uh, as far as you eat like um, uh, like <laughs> especially eating, and dark chocolates, I think it's they're quite um, healthy and uh, they really help to uh, our to our brain. I think um, yeah. certain types of sweets and cakes are very okay. So they would interrupt you here and go to the next question because you're kind of stuck, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you're losing the focus of your answer. Okay, you okay. said yes, said, I agree yes, with that. I agree, I agree that, that eating too many sweets can lead to really bad health problems. Bad health problems. And then you switched and to you talking switch about, to how about how having a balanced having sugar balanced consumption or eating chocolate can be good for me. What if I'm allergic to chocolate? Um, <laughs> so you can't. What kind of sickness can I get if I eat too much sugar? Uh, uh. Yeah, I forgot the word. I I actually yeah, uh, I I did remember. Keep it simple. So think about so bad think about teeth, bad tea, gaining too much, gaining weight. Too much weight. Okay. Ah, so keep okay. your thoughts so simple, thoughts right? Simple. So here, what I would answer is yes, I agree with that. I agree that eating too many sweets can lead to really bad health problems. Uh, people can gain a lot of weight. Their teeth can become really bad. So it's important to have a balanced diet. I know that my friend ate too much sugar and now he has a lot of bad teeth and he weighs 200 kilograms. Okay, so keep your thoughts simple when you're answering. Answer, explanation, example. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay, right. so try it again so with answer, again with explanation, answer, example, and don't, and don't overthink it. I'm going to ask you the question one more time, okay? One more time, okay? So too many so sweets too can many cause sweets health can issues cause for people. Issues for Do you agree with this statement? Um, yes, I definitely agree with that. Uh, I think eating too many sweets can lead uh, to really bad problems in health. Um, First, I think it can lead to um, like uh, you, the teeth can become really bad, and you can get 
um, really um, like a lot of weight of eating this. Yeah, it's hard. You're doing fine. You're, You're doing fine. much better than before. You're doing much better than before. Yeah, and I know my friend. Uh, he was eating too many chocolates, and he he's now like uh, every day going to um, dentist to check his teeth. Very good. good. Okay, much better. Okay. All right. Much better. That was a much better answer because you stayed focused. Answer. Your first answer was like a band five because you got stuck, you couldn't finish your ideas. This one was like a band 6.5 or a six at least. It was one band better because you kept focused. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so stay with the question and keep your thoughts simple. Okay, keep practicing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, All right. Ibrahimov. Thank you. I hope you have a great hope rest, hope of have a rest of your weekend. Thank you. Yeah, it was really helpful. Okay. Thank you. Bye for now. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure, guys, girls, that um, the issue is not with my computer. So unfortunately, it, it looks like that lagging issue uh, is with YouTube because we're multi-streaming and on one channel it looked fine and on the other channel it got stuck so it looks like the YouTube server is having an issue today but as long as it's able to keep going um, it should be fine all right um, we'll take some more volunteers here uh, let's see if we have a uh, member Saeed is a member so let's see if Saeed is ready okay are you ready Saeed all right, hopefully it'll cooperate. Um, Google servers are always updating as well. I guess it's part of regular streaming, right? Eventually there's bound to be an issue or two. Okay, uh, so. <coughs> Hi, sir, how are you doing? Hi, Saeed, I'm doing good, how are you? I'm pretty much the same as you, fairly energetic. Okay, good. All right, any plans for the weekend? Uh, well, no, except except for studying. All right, getting smarter. How about you? Getting smarter is always yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. Fun. I I have a. Uh, thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm uh, going to a concert with my daughter a little bit later today. I'm going to um, it's uh, Beethoven's Ninth Symphony that we're going to be. Oh really? Uh, yeah, it's um. Well, yeah, it should be quite, quite entertaining. One of my friends is the conductor, so it should be. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, so it should be good. <laughs> um, okay, all right, so let's continue talking about sweets. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> um, certain types of sweets and cakes can be very expensive. What do you think contributes to the high price of some confectionaries? Um, well, it is true that certain types of sweets can easily cost a few hundred dollars. Well, I, I believe that it is because of the high quality ingredients which uh, are usually in a limited range. Take um, natural cacao bean, for example. Um, chocolate that is made out of natural cacao can be pretty pricey uh, because such beans can only be found in the jungles of Africa. And it is actually extremely hard to find them. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, that was that was solid. So I would give you a band eight uh, for that answer. I think you're speaking as a band nine. I think uh, the one band score. I'm 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 very picky. Um, the one band score I'm taking away from you because I feel that your answer is partial. It doesn't feel complete to me yet. Um, so. Um. You said, so the question again is certain types of sweets and uh, cakes can be very expensive. What do you think contributes to the high price of some confectionaries? Um, you started really well by reflecting the question. You said, well, it is true that certain types of sweets can cost hundreds of dollars. And I like how you quantified that you said hundreds of dollars. Um, yeah, absolutely. 
I, I agree with you. And then um, you thought about the reason. You said, well, I believe that it's uh, the cost of the ingredients, such as natural uh, cacao or cocoa. Um, and uh, you said it's hard to find in the jungles of Africa. And I think you kind of pigeonholed. So you, you got lost in this concept of ingredients. When you're answering mm. a question like this, I <clears throat> try to visualize an expensive confectionery. So when you think of a really expensive confectionery, like a cake, for example, what do you see? Mm -hmm. What what do you visualize as a really expensive confectionery? Like like an enormous cake with lots of uh, floors. Okay, sure, sure, good, good, good. Okay, excellent. So you see a big cake with lots of decorations on it, right? Um, yeah. What is that? What's the purpose of that cake? Um, I don't know, maybe for some kind of big parties. What kind of big parties usually have a, a, a lavish cake like that? Birthday parties, maybe. A birthday party? What else? There's another one that should pop to mind pretty quick if you're if you're doing a good job visualizing. And, and anniversaries. Anniversaries, uh, and there's one more that's even more at the top of the list. Uh, I, I have da, no clue, da, actually. Da, 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 ah, wedding, da, wedding, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that your little wedding jingle there for you? Um, yeah, so <laughs> weddings, right? Absolutely, wedding cakes, right? Can be very expensive. Okay, so the ingredients, of course. What else makes them really expensive? So now that you have this lavish wedding cake or birthday cake, what else do you realize leads to the cost of these expensive confectionaries? Um, maybe the size of them. Yeah, I, there's something else that would come to mind for me very quickly. Decorations or yeah, <laughs> work uh, right? Work human time. Work yeah. Human human time. So um, the raw materials can be expensive for certain items like cakes, right? And also the work that's involved. So these big wedding cakes take a lot of work, right? Some sweets, yeah, exactly. take a lot of effort. Okay, so my tip here is um, when you're thinking about the IELTS questions, Saeed, really try to, uh -huh. there's, there's a game called Family Feud. It's like a TV show that was on American TV for many, many, many years with many different hosts. It's called Family Feud. Have you heard about this game? I'm going to type no, it up here. No, I get, no, 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 I've never heard about that. Okay, it's called Family Feud. I bet if you Google it, you'll get tons of hits for this, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the reason I'm telling you this is basically this game, it's played between two families, and they always give a topic, like uh, things that you lose. And then whoever mm -hmm. guesses the top answer that most people vote for, um, wins that round. So if somebody says wallet and then they say yes, 90 people from 100 say that you lose a wallet more than anything else. Uh, and then number two answer is keys, number three answer is money. So you have to kind of guess like what the most popular answers are, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, watching that show it, for learning a bit of English and also for IELTS strategy is a good idea because it helps you to think of the most popular Popular answers. Popular topics. Yeah. Exactly. So this show <laughs> helps with English and super popular answers because that's what you want to do uh, on IELTS is think about these super popular answers. So think about wedding cake, think about the work, think about the ingredients, and I'm going to ask you this question one more time. Give me an answer, okay? All right. Okay. So what do you think contributes to the high price of some confectionaries? <clears throat> well, it is true that certain types of sweets can easily cost a few hundred dollars. I believe that this is because not only uh, this is uh, because this is not only because of uh, high quality ingredients, which can be pretty pricey, but also because of the time that people spend uh, doing this cake or whatever. Uh, bec uh, you know. Take natural cacao bean, for example, such beans can be pretty pricey. And, you know, for a cake, like for enormous cake for a wedding party, uh, people can spend like a lot of hours, even days, making it. So that is why it's usually pretty expensive. Very nice. Okay. Okay, good. That was really good. That was much, much better. Okay. 
to make it even better, um, really focus on professional communication. So don't use words like cake or whatever. Just say cake, right? So don't don't uh, use the word all whatever. Right. All right, sorry. Um, uh, so make it more professional. But now you have the structure and the content. So now you have band nine content in your answer. Okay, mm. and that's what you want to do. So now you thought about, okay, here's the answer, here's the explanation. And I like how you realize that this is a great place to use the not only, but also uh, for uh, the correlative conjunction, okay? So mm -hmm. let, me, let me give this answer just so that everybody can hear it in a very clear way. So what contributes to the high price of some confectionaries? Well, <clears throat> it's true that certain types of sweets and cakes can cost hundreds. Of dollars, I think this is not only because of the pricey ingredients like natural cocoa, but also because of the time involved to make uh, lavish cakes. Uh, wedding cake can take days to make and can cost uh, one or two thousand dollars. My cousin had a wedding just last year, and I remember her cake cost close to two thousand dollars. Right, so mm -hmm. there's that answer explanation example with a lot of clarity. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, um, Said, keep doing that and check out that show, Family Feud. Maybe watch an episode or two, and then that will kind of help your mind to be like, oh, okay, that's how I have to think about. All right, we'll note it down. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I, watch it. I put it up here in the. I put it into the notes right up here as well. Family Feud, and it's and, and it's entertaining, mm -hmm. and it's entertain. It's an entertaining show. It, it was on TV for like thirty mm -hmm. years or forty. I think <clears> it might <throat> still be going. I, I think they might still be doing episodes. So, um, okay, all right. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Uh, good studies, and then uh, mm -hmm. we'll see you next week. Okay. Thank you. You too, sir. Have a good time at concert. Thank you. Bye, Saeed. All right, so that was Saeed helping me to explain some uh, strategies um, and even some edutainment, what is it, Edu edutainment, edutainment, education, entertainment together, edutainment, it's a new word, um, edutainment uh, for you, um, watch Family Feud in English, please, I think they probably have it in other languages, but watch it in English, it's called Family Feud. All right. Okay, uh, let's see if we have some more volunteers here. Cassandra's volunteering, so let's see if Cassandra, yeah, sure. Are you ready? Okay, so we'll take more and more volunteers here. It looks like uh, YouTube has decided to cooperate a bit more with us, which is nice. Definitely a bit spotty today. Okay, Cassandra, let's see if Cassandra's still with us. I saw you writing in the chat, Cassandra, so I'm guessing you're still here. Just type me back a message and say, yes, I am. That way I know you haven't gotten up to go for a slice of cake and a coffee. Oh, okay, Cassandra, I see the thumbs up. Maybe you're not able to type. Okay. Let me give you a shout. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, sir. Good evening. Hi, good morning there. <laughs> <laughs> good evening to you. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. Um, just finished uh, my dinner. How about you, sir? I have finished my bowl of cereal before this class. <laughs> so, okay. But okay. I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit uh, more about uh, sweets. Um, okay, so... Now let's talk about making food. There okay. we go. It's a little bit of a shift here. So let's talk about making food. How have food preparation practices improved over the past decade? Um, I think um, preparation of food has improved over the past few years. A uh, past few, the past ten years. Uh, this means because uh, people nowadays. Uh, uh, have the capacity to uh, 
capacity to handle the food uh, very well by using um, hand gloves uh, and hand hygiene uh, while handling or cooking their foods uh, to serve to their customers or to their families. Uh, it's because um, uh, hygiene is one of the vital vital import uh, vital uh, process on handling uh, food while uh, not only it it was uh, enjoy the gas but it will it prevent food poisoning as well just like here in the Philippines uh, Department of Health uh, is very strict uh, in terms of um, uh, handling food in the fast food chains here in Manila okay all right um, lots about food hygiene and food safety okay uh, not bad Cass I would probably give you like a band 7.5 for that um, but I do think you can do better I, I do think that you can go more for an 8 or an even an 8.5 okay. um, and it's kind of the same mistake as Saeed and it's very typical when um, when candidates have solid English like you and Saeed I believe have very good English in the sense of lexical resource grammatical range accuracy fluency you really just need to focus on the content um, and communication style, okay, to improve that extra half band or one band. Um, how have food preparation practices improved over the decades? Uh, so hygiene is certainly one part of that picture, but I don't think it's the only uh, part of that picture. Whenever we're comparing the past to the present or the present to the future, immediately there is a, a concept that should come to mind, an idea that should come to mind. What is that concept? What is that idea? Mm. So when you're comparing past to present or present to future, there's one element that should always kind of just like a red light flash into your head and be like, oh, okay, that's a part of this answer. Um, card, um, wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, technology. Technology, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, yes, yes. yes always, yes. always. Yes. So science and technology. I mean, um, one really important fundamental concept to keep in mind for questions in the IELTS, and it's not just for the speaking, but also the writing questions as well, is we are living in the information age. So okay. you, you know how like every century or certain time periods have um, names, right? And our yeah. time period is literally called the information era or the information age, yes. um, basically connected to science and technology, the evolution of science and technology. So as soon as you hear a question like, how has this changed? How has it improved? How will it improve? How okay. will it change? Yeah. Immediately, you should be thinking technology almost in any context. Okay. 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 So um, here, and, and information, right? Like uh, food safety, food hygiene, that's also a part of science and information. It's a part of health science, if you will, right? Um, so let me ask you this question again because I think now you will be able to answer it a little mm. bit better. So how have food preparation practices improved over the decades? Uh, I think uh, preparation of food have improved over the past 10, 10 years. Uh, this is because people nowadays um, have the um, technology uh, to uh, preserve their food and um, clean um, this is um, prepare their food uh, in a much uh, hygienic way especially using uh, state-of-the-art um, preservation um, preservation machines and a way of um, laser um, like um, hi um, this uh, laser la laser um, computer softwares that could detect uh, bacteria or germs in a food. That's why here in Manila, uh, the Department of Health are, is very keen to inspections of fast food chains here and restaurants here. Okay, all right. So oh you God. took technology and you went back to hygiene, but that's okay. Okay, that was oh still better. That was still better, all right. 
Um, the preparation of food. So, and and you did get to you said you said preserving and preparing the food, right? So yeah. again, simple thoughts, right? Simple is beautiful. It's not easy, but it is beautiful. So I think preparation of food has improved over the uh, last, the last 10, 20 years, 10 years because nowadays people have more advanced technology to preserve yeah. and prepare their food. Mm. Uh, freezers these days and refrigerators can it be is. controlled humidity, um, the temperature oh, yeah. much more than in the past. Ovens are much better with much more accurate temperatures. Uh, there are convection ovens oh, yeah. that cook the food um, from inside and out yeah. to make it tastier. Uh, in fact, I bought a new oven last month and it connects oh. to the Wi-Fi. I can okay. start my oven um, using my mobile phone and it will tell me when the food is ready. So I haven't burned a chicken in the last year since I got my <laughs> new oven. And it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. Yes, so, indeed. Yes, yes. So indeed. if anybody's buying a new oven these days, they will discover the magic of Wi-Fi connected ovens, smart ovens. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yeah. So, so keep it th simple. Think about the, you know, the oven that you've seen in the shops recently yes. or in your home. Um, okay. Um, so, technology, information okay, I'll keep, age. Yeah, I'll keep this in mind, okay. Like okay. a red light, okay? As soon yes, as yes, yes. Past to the present, present to the future, as soon as we're comparing that information, technology, okay? Yes, okay. I'll, right. I'll make it up. I'll make it up. I'll, <laughs> I'll redeem myself next time. Yeah, you kind of, it's it's weird. Like, we, we all want to be unique individuals. And I think that's the beautiful part of being human is we're all unique. But on the IELTS, we kind of all have to be this stereotypical, like, you know, Homer Simpson, Marge Simpson type of character yeah. that's just very, like, in the mainstream. Um, okay, Cassandra, have a lovely rest of your weekend and we'll chat later, okay? Okay, yeah. Thank you, sir. Enjoy your concert with your daughter. Thank you so much. Bye for now, Cassandra. Bye. Okay, yeah, so a very important point there with Cassandra, right? And it's a very typical, it's a very common um, point to forget uh, for many is that, you know, we live in the, the age of information and technology. So as soon as you're considering what has changed, visualize those technological advancements that are happening around you on a daily basis and how that has influenced um, the life around you, right? So. Um, that's a big way. And thank you for the thumbs up, everybody. Uh, nice support for each other. I forgot to mention that earlier, but um, I can see the thumbs up by Ken and Saeed, which is lovely. It's beautiful to see. Okay. All right. Um, let's take one more uh, volunteer. Let's see if we have any more members in here. Uh, I don't see too many more members, but I do see Duyin um, wanting to volunteer. So let me reach out to Duyin. Okay. Are you ready? Hopefully we can get a hold of one more volunteer here. And amazingly, YouTube has decided to, hey, let's allocate more bandwidth to that channel. <laughs> so we're getting a little bit more smooth streaming here. All right. Hi, Duyen. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Awesome. So, yes. um, you've been watching the class. You know that we're talking about food and about sweets, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you have a sweet tooth, Duyen? Mm, I think I know. <laughs> I'm a little Do you like to eat cakes and candies all the time? Mm, yes, I, I I like it to chocolate, uh, chocolate or candy uh, uh, made of uh, sugar. Okay, so it sounds like you have a bit of a sweet tooth. All right, um, let me ask you a part three question and then give me a nice full sentence answer, okay? Think about your answer, explanation, and maybe a smooth example when you're answering, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Some people say that traditional quality home cooked meals are slowly disappearing. Why is this? Uh, 
in my opinion, to be honest. Nowadays, more people are fond of eating out at restaurants or joining the parties of relatives. The reason I read comes that they are occupied with tough job, not time for some prepared or great food for family. Uh, I can put forward a great many ideas such as the first day of the week. You should list a fruit are uh, insured quality, beautiful on with and uh, Do you in? Are you still there? Yes. Okay. It sounded like you just kind of finished very suddenly. All right. Um your ideas are good, okay? So you had a good good answer, good explanation. Um, the example, I couldn't quite catch it. Uh, so you would score like a band um, six to 6.5 for that answer. Most of your remarks you're losing because of your pronunciation features, okay? Pronunciation, you don't have to sound like an American or a Canadian or a British or Australian, so you don't have to sound like a native English speaker, but you have to really pay attention to your intonation and your pronunciation so that it's smooth and easy to understand, okay? Um, don't switch to using you like you should and you ought to, okay? So don't, don't start giving suggestions directly to the examiner, okay? Um, so the start was really good. You said, in my opinion, to be honest, you don't need to double down on that. So just in my opinion or to be honest, one or the other, but not both. So in my opinion, many people are more fond of eating out at restaurants. And then let's connect this as they uh, are busy with their jobs and they do not have time to prepare food and eat uh, with their uh, family. My uncle uh, works 12 hours a day and the last time he had a home-cooked meal was when he visited my home two weeks ago. Okay, so keep your example personal if you're going to include an example or general, right? Um, but don't use the word you or yours, okay? All right, um, let me ask this question again, give the answer, and then just repeat after me, okay? Um, and really focus on the intonation. So I'm going to go nice and smooth and steady, so really just try to copy the way that I pronounce and intonate this response, okay? So here we go. Some people say that the tradition of quality home-cooked meals is slowly disappearing. Why is this? In my opinion, Many people are more fond of eating out at restaurants as they are busy with their jobs and they do not have time to eat and prepare food at home with their family. My uncle works 12 hours a day and the last time he had a home cooked meal was when he visited my home two weeks ago. Okay, um, here we go. So some people say that the tradition of quality home cooked meals is slowly disappearing. Why is this? Well, in my opinion, many people are more food are more fond of eating out at restaurants as the busy with their job, and they do not have a time to eat prepared food and eat with their family. My uncle was twelve hour a day, and the last time he had a home cooked meal was when he visited my home two weeks ago. Okay. Better, better, right? So that was better. Nice, strong pronunciation. Keep doing that. So focus on phonetics. Okay, do lots of phonetics practice um, for the R sounds and for those TH, the F, P sounds, okay? And really clear up that pronunciation and then your speech will become much more comprehensible, all right? Yes. And don't, don't shy away from that. So a lot of people are like, oh, it's so hard to improve pronunciation. You can do it. Absolutely, you're young, you're, you have good muscle memory, your tongue, your cheek, your, your throat, it will adapt and it will learn, believe me, okay? So lots of pronunciation practice, okay? Yes, thank you, teacher. All right, Duin, keep it up. Have a great weekend. Bye for now, Duin. Bye.
Okay, all right, that was due in. Um, and uh, I think she did a fantastic job. Encourage her, give her a thumbs up. This is where lots of practice comes in. So pronunciation is not super important for the IELTS, but it is important to the point where the examiner needs to clearly understand what you are saying. All right, uh, students, um, that was a bit of a haphazard class with those uh, technical issues, so sorry about that, but not much I could do on my end. It seems like that was definitely a Google uh, YouTube related issue um, with their servers. Uh, so uh, remember to uh, visit aehelp.com for academic IELTS and gieltshelp.com for general IELTS. Uh, where we use Amazon servers that don't have nearly as many issues uh, historically. Um, and you can use this uh, discount code, uh, one band up um, for a 20% discount for the next two days only on our websites, okay? So make sure to uh, check us out on the websites, join the premium package, it's definitely worth it. You get lots of practice exams, uh, you get access to all, all of our uh, videos and slides. Uh, thank you so much, members, for hanging in there and toughing it out through some of these uh, glitchy parts of the class. Um, Ken, come back next class, volunteer, okay, for part three. Lamia, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, see you all in about 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, we're going to uh, step back a bit and we're going to do speaking part one where all of our members and subscribers will be able to join in on the chat. I'm Adrian, I'm signing out for now, but I'll be back soon. Bye.